Hello all, and welcome back to Kreos Gaming. I am continuing my playthrough of Morrowind, and I am trying to find out, or the next step in what I'm doing, um, is trying to become Ortator. And Nibani Mesa said that I needed to, to get each of the counselors of the different houses to recognize me as Ortator. And the Hualu counselors, she said, are in Balmora, uh, in the chief, which is the chief town of the Hualu. And she says they meet there in a great house with many rooms. When I looked up the Hualu counselors, it said they were in Vivek. And that there's specifically a Hualu plaza in Vivek. So I am here in Balmora, because that is where I decided to stop because I was expecting to have the opportunity to um, visit the the Hualu counselors here, since that is what Nibani Mesa said. Now it is possible that the game is correct and the unofficial wiki is wrong. Uh, it's also possible, so Hualu Council Manor. I mean, that would make a lot of sense that that's where the counselors would be. Um, but it's also possible that maybe it starts here and they send you off to Vivek. I don't know. So I'm going to make my way to the council manor, ask around, and see if anyone there can tell me what I need to be named Ortator. Um, now, there was warnings that everyone is... Uh, not to be trusted, etc. So I don't even know if they're going to give me straight up information about how to be Ortator. So this is Nileno Dorvain. I keep business going here in Balmora while the Hlalu counselors are away, which is most of the time. Okay, well, what can you tell me about the Hlalu counselors then? Here's a re recent edition of the Yellow Book of Great House Hlalu. It lists the current Hlalu counselors and their residences. I might tell you more for a small consideration. The Yellow Book of 3E426 has been added to my inventory and my journal has been updated. And she says she will tell me more for money, so let's bribe her with 50 drakes and see what else she says. The one you should speak with is Crassius Curio. His manor is in the Hlalu Plaza in Vivek. Of the Hlalu counselors, he is one most likely to listen to your requests, whatever they may be. All right, well, what more do you say about Crassius Curio, then? He can be very eccentric at times, but his weaknesses allow him to be manipulated. He lives in Lalu Plaza in Vivek. All right, um, and I don't know if she would tell me more if I had more reputation but uh, Crassius Curio is apparently going to be my next stop in Hualu um, Plaza in Vivek. But first, let's see what the book, the yellow book of 3E426, says about them. It says, um, Counselors of House Hualu, Vardenfell District, Imperial Area 426, Mistress Valanda Omani, by grace of Almsivi, honored counselor of Lalu, Council Vardenfell District, free trader, Lord of Omani Plantation, Elmas Island, East Vivek, District of Vardenfell, Province of Morrowind. Okay, Master Dram Barrow, same thing, honored counselor, blah blah. Vardenfell District, free trader, gentleman of no fixed residence. Okay. Uh, Vivek, District of Vardenfell, Province of Morrowind. Gracias Curio is Curio Manor, Hlalu Compound, Vivek District. Okay, so I wonder if where I am now is the Hlalu Compound. Angling Half Troll. I've dealt with that individual before. Or Half Troll is a more common name than I expect. Um, Angling Manor, Canton of St. Holmes. Okay. And then. Uh, Nevena Uls, Uls Manor, Surin. Okay, so Surin on the Ascadian Isles, Val Ur. Okay. Council Affairs of Note, King Hlalu Athen Lathan, High Counselor and Lord of Morrowind, grants relief to merchants complaining of high tariffs on imported alcoholic beverages. 
Council is pleased to report a reduction in the incidence of theft and violent crime in the Hollow House districts thanks to the vigilance of the legions and stern sentences by the magistrates. The council laments the unfortunate disturbances of public peace resulting from the increasingly aggressive competition between the Thieves' Guild and the Kamanatong for control of the black markets. A minor tax revolt in Balmora was suppressed without undue harm to life and property. The council sent deputations to the duke to express their concerns over the high tax rates and the injurious effect of high tariffs on trade. All right, um, all of that's kind of, whoops, return. I keep forgetting how that works. All of that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know that I had any real clues as to what I'm going to need to do, but I can head over to, you know what? I'm gonna, hmm, hold on. I don't know where Halu Plaza is in Vivek, so I don't know if I'm better off trying to go through the Mages Guild. You know what? I'm probably better off taking the Silt Strider because it's going to put me on the ground floor, uh, which will put me closer than the... Travel, please, to Vivek, uh, which will put me closer to the boatman who is right about here. Uh, instead of having to run all the way down and go there. But I have to figure out, if I go world, where Hualu Plaza is in Vivek. And frankly, I don't know. Vivek Telvani's over there. Temple. The temple takes up quite a lot of space. Oh, there wait, it there it is. Hualu. So it's apparently down and to the... It'll be to the right when I'm going south. It's down into the left now, which is west. All right. So southwest is where I need to go. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have difficulty finding that. So I will just come back in when I do locate it. All right. So the boatsman does provide travel to Hualu. There's an entrance to Hualu Plaza up in this central area, which I think think means I need to go up here and then find my way a little higher. Um, basically do the normal travel thing or climbing thing when it comes to these. This is the Hollow Waste Works, which is not what I want. So I need to find the next uh, path up. And I'm just continuing to spam my mysticism spell for the same reason that I have been. All right, this should then be Lalu Plaza. And I am looking for... Did they say what I'm looking for? Um, well, Elven Nation's Corner Club I have been in. Don't remember why. That might be where... This is Hualu Pawnbroker. Hualu Alchemist. Suma Dressrathi. House Hualu. Okay, is the person here? Let's see here. Can I ask you about... Yep, scroll up. Scroll up? Because it's Crassius. Oh, yeah. Crassius Curio. What does Tumsa Dorethi say about Crassius Curio? Um, Counselor Crassius Curio has a splendid mansion in the plaza atop the Hualu Canton here in Vivek. Um, yeah, that's where I am. I was, I was hoping for something more specific than that. Thanks, I guess. I mean, is House Hualu that mansion? Yeah, it would make sense. Let's see what other options I have. Hualu Weaponsmith. So is it, I'm guessing, No Name Club. All right, so yeah, let's let's find out if I can find Crassius Curio in the... Oh, that said Curio Manor. Okay, that would make sense. Um, So, put my arms down. Nope. Trying to figure out where Crassius may be. Oh, I don't want a weapon out either. Not if I'm walking around just trying to talk to people. Alright, lots of just stuff. Would you quit that? Switching between games. Control schemes are always and interesting. You get used to doing things a particular way. Ah, another copy of the Book of Dawn and Dusk. I have multiples, so I do not need to worry about trying to... Walk away with that. You are Balin Sadrathi, which is not Crassius Curio. Um, is this locked? Nope. Well, you know what? Close the door. Sneaky, sneaky. 
nothing in it worthwhile. It was still worth a check. Okay. Drawers. Eh, some amulets. Expensive amulets at that. Could eventually um, sell them somewhere, but for now. Another wooden door. Are you? You are not. You are forv Forv's Nerethi. It is interesting. I don't understand how the membership works. Whoa. You're not a... Um, Dwemer's not right. <laughs> I can't remember what the... Oh well. Yes, I'm Crassus Creo. Uh, but you can call me Hunter Crassius. Okay, so, sure. Ah yes, that is my name, but it sounds like music when you say it. Yeah, um, okay, cool. Uh, what about the Halalu counselors? You should consult the recent edition of the Yellow Book of Great House Halu. It lists the current Halu counselors and their residences. All right, well, thank you. What about Halu Ortator? An a Ortator is a great house war leader. It's an ancient tradition, seldom involved in modern times. Um, ask how an Ortator is chosen. As far as I recall, every one of Halu's counselors must vote to choose an Ortator. And the vote must be unanimous. There must be some situation requiring a war leader, of course, and a worthy candidate who can perform an ortator's duty. Okay, what about choosing an ortator? A ortator is chosen by consensus. Everyone has to agree. A single no is a veto. First, a great house has to choose an ortator. Then, that ortator has to go persuade the other great houses to agree to name him ortator of their houses. Two. Oh, excuse me. A very difficult system. No great house wants to give the honor to a member of another great house, but luckily it's mostly honorary and doesn't cost a house anything, so it might not be that bad after all. Okay, what about an ortator's duty? An a ortator is a champion who leads by inspiration. He challenges opposing heroes in single combat. He goes on long, desperate quests. He goes alone into the citadels of the enemy. He confronts the dangerous. No one else in dangers. No one else in the house is strong enough or courageous enough to face. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, what is requirements? Uh, oh, to join House Halu. Okay, to join House Halu, one must be swift and agile. We value that the refined arts of speech and barter House Halu places exceptional value. On property and its protection and thus the knowledge of security is essential although our house avoids violence wherever possible a halalu must know how to use light armor short blades and ranged weapons to provide the house's security so in other words you have roughly the same uh, requirements as the thieves guild which is interesting um, hmm. I did I wonder if I should have told my story and asked to be named Ortator at that point. Um, because now I don't know. Oh, there we go. I can say tell your story and ask to be confirmed. Uh, Ortator is a great house war leader. It's an ancient tradition, seldom invoked in modern times. You want to be Ortator? A pity. Orvis Dren does not want you to be Ortator. And very few counselors would be willing to risk Ser Dren's disapproval. But if you were to give me a small gift of 1,000 drakes, I might reconsider. Oh, sure, I can give 1,000 drakes. Um, that's probably going to be the cheapest option. I don't know what stall for time would give me, but I have quite a few drakes at this point, so sure, why not? Um, what a thoughtful gift. How did you know? Gold. It's just what I wanted. And now it's time for your gift. And I have just what you want. In my formal capacity as counselor of Hals Lalu, I give you my vote for the right title of Hortator. Perhaps I can also give you a little suggestion. Yes, sure, I will take a little suggestion. I am sure you can persuade Dram Barrow to support you as Hortator, if you can find him. Orvis Dren has Nevena Ules and Velanda Omani in his pocket. You might want to make a little trip to the Dren Plantation before talking to them. And then there's Yingling Half-Troll. Okay, so what about Dram Barrow? Dram Barrow is very secretive. He lives somewhere here in Vivek. Okay, so finding him is going to be a bit of an issue. Irvis Dren 
I don't know, is he already dead? I know I was in Dren Plantation because that, I think, is where the two assassins lived that I took out for the both the thieves and the fighters guild. Oh, yes, you did. Um, but I don't know if Dren was there and died at the time. Um, so Orvis, Orvis Dren is dead. I hope you will not make his mistakes. Okay, yes, I did kill him. Awesome. Uh, so what about Nevena Ulis then? Um, she lives in Ulis Manor near Surin. Just take the road north out of Surin, cross the bridge heading west, and look for a manor south of the road. Okay. And then Valanda Omani. Uh, Counselor Valanda Omani lives outside Vivek on Elmis Island. Take the bridge to the mainland from Telvani Compound. Then turn south and cross the bridge to Elmis Island. The path from the south end of the bridge leads right to Omani Manor. And hopefully all of that's going into my journal, but it doesn't say my journal is updated. Um, so we will see. And then finally, Ingling Half-Troll. Ingling Half-Troll is a foreigner, like me, but he simply doesn't understand Dunmer. That's what it was. Uh, the Dunmer, like I do. If you were to dispose of him, the other counselors would not be upset. If you kill any of the rest of us, of course, it is a different story. He lives in Ingling Manor in St. Olm's Canton. Okay. Um, so that seems kind of odd that they're like, well, just kill that one. But, all right, so Overstren is dead, so I don't have to worry about him interfering with Nevena Ulis and Volanda Omani. Dram Barrow is secretive, but lives somewhere here in Vivek. So I guess I go walking around Vivek and ask, hi Grizz, ask people where Dram Barrow is. I'm not thrilled about that, but... I guess that's going to be the way of things. What? Grizzy, you are in the way, kitten. Trying to... Yes. As you sit here and whine. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. Goodbye. Um, Because I don't think the yellow book was specific about where Drambarrow... It just says no fixed residence somewhere in Vivek. Okay. But he is a free, free trader. Um, yeah. Uh, so, measure. I'm just going to ask you, because you're here, Dram Barrow. I've seen him in St. Olm's. Oh, okay. Well, that's useful then. I mean, it's at least information. That means I need to... Oops, wrong door. In fact, I don't need a door. I need stairs. I need to get back outside into the... Um, there we go. Nope, this still isn't where I want to be, because I'm trying to figure out... I, I don't remember how to get to St. Olm's. So if I come out here, and I go to... See here. That's Redoran. Upper corridor. Wait a second. Lalu. And Redoran is one of the other ones, but I only want to do one at a time. St. Delin. I think St. Olm's might be... Like, next to St. Delin? Maybe? I think so. All right, so if I come down to local, if that's the case, then I would need to go through Redoran, but I might... There's a bridge. If I go around... Yeah, that might work. We'll see if the bridge is at this higher level or not. That looks like it. So yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. So I just have to figure out the pathing here, which this isn't terrible. And then, I mean, there's going to be a lot of running around just in general, it seems. It also sounded like, well, okay, hold on. While I'm doing that, where is Surin? Because um, they said it was... Something was north of Surin, but I don't remember where Surin is for that to make a difference to me. Good grief. There are too many places on the map. I know I've been to Surin. Just don't remember where it is. North? Sorry about this. I was thinking, oh, I'll just go check where Surin is real quick, because I'm going to have to be there later. And suddenly I'm not 
finding it at all, which seems weird. Sadrith Mora, Pelerune. This is ridiculous. Unless it's not marked on the map for some reason. All right, you know what? Apparently I'm going to worry about that later and just, okay, what I was doing, I'm here because I wanted to see if St. Olm's, yes, St. Olm's is on the other side. So I can come down, use this bridge to then get to that bridge. So I just want to come around and go to the right. Well, come around, yes. Oops, no more magicka. Good. That means I have done what I can for that. There's the bridge. The artwork on the banners is somewhat interesting. It's not easily decipherable, which kind of surprises me. All right, so I'm going to get into St. Holmes, and then I'm going to have to ask more questions about where Dram is and hope that the people are willing to provide an answer. And hopefully I also don't have to spend too much money on um, asking questions and getting people's disposition up. But we'll see what ends up happening. All right. This is a sacred city of Vivek. All right, Girvani said us, what say you about Tram Barrow? I don't know where he lives, but I've seen him on the top of St. Olm's before. Um, well, this is the top of St. Olm's, so I guess I can just, well, you're not going to be Dram. Um. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, so you say about Dram Barrow. I don't know where he lives. Same thing. Okay. Is this the top of... Well, I'm in St. Olm's Plaza. I don't... Unless it just means walking about in the exterior portions, or... I mean... Could it be in houses? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, oops. I'm gonna... Well, hmm. So I think that's everybody who's walking around outside. This is a temple of St. Olm's. You know what? Sure. Let's go see if Dram is in the temple. The Book of Dawn and Dusk again. I already have copies. A wooden door that leads down. A wooden door with a lock level 5. You are not Dram. Random stuff. More random stuff. Lock level 5. Oh, lock level 10. This one's a little bit more interesting than the last one. Oh, good grief. How did I fail a lock level 10? Yeah, I was going to say, and it's just somebody's room. But somebody's room infested with a rat. So let's help them out with their rat problem. Uh, gold. Sure. Close that. Just see if there's anything else in the crates, since the one crate had gold. And the answer is no. There's nothing else other than reagents, which I've actually got far too many reagents at this point, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. But so long as I'm here and looking around, I might as well open some additional doors. Oh, they're storage rooms. That's why. It's just that one had a bed in storage as well. I guess that makes more sense. Well, where else do you store your slaves? Your what? Slaves. In so the use... storage room. Ah, I see. Well, yeah, I guess. At which point, yeah. Okay, so no, no gold here. Oh, hey, four gold. I'll take that. Since I have to recoup a thousand gold from bribing dude to give me information on where people were. Okay. So, well, as long as I'm being thorough, I might as well be thorough. It's interesting how many of these have four gold in them. Just that it's that precise amount. And a ring of lightning bolt. Meh. 
It's a magical ring. It should sell well. All right. And then there's one more door somewhere I know. Okay. There we go. Wrong one. Right, because I killed a rat last time. Yay, success. Oh, hey, books. Very nice. The Doors of the Spirit. I don't remember if I have it, so I'll take it. The Book of the Dawn and Dusk. The Cantatas of Vivek. I think I have, but when in doubt, take the book. The Pilgrim's Path I definitely have, which means I don't know why I opened it. Consolations of Prayer I'm pretty sure I have. And Lives of the Saints I'm just going to take because I don't remember. All right. But nothing in there really worthwhile. And I don't think I need to try to... Well, his back's turned, so sure. Oh my, lots and lots of potions. You know, this is... I wonder if he's actually a potion vendor at that point. Because he's got lots and lots of potions here as well. And that would make sense if he's actually the house's... So I'll leave that stuff alone for the time being. Um, oh, you don't want to ask him about Tram? Oh, you know, that actually probably makes a lot of sense. Uh, I got distracted by thieving. So sure, let's do that. Okay, Vavil, Celis, what say you about Dram Barrow? I don't know where he lives, but I've seen him on the top of St. Holmes before. But, okay, that's fine. You know what, just out of curiosity, if I try and persuade you with 100 gold, how much does that increase you? 92. Nice. All right. Now, if I ask you about Dram, you still don't know where he lives. Okay. That's what I was expecting. But, you know, for 100 gold, just to verify that that's the best I'm going to get, that's fine with me. Okay. Um, so I have this. To my mind, this would be the top of St. Olm's. So either he would be somewhere in here. Wait a second. Oh, Angling Manor. Yeah, that's where the other guy is. Yes, it is. Um, Yingling Half Troll. And I've talked to him before. Um, I just have to remember where he lives. You are Yingling Half Troll. There we go. All right, so just in case this ends up in a fight. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm Sivy Drollin. I'm Yingling Half Troll. Don't worry. Vivek can be confusing. Okay, I want to add. Well, first, I'm going to ask you about. No, I'm not. I can't ask you about him. That's really interesting. Okay. Uh, well, Crassius Curio, he says, Counselor Crassius Curio has a splendid mansion in the plaza atop um, Plalu Canton here in Vivek. Great. Uh, what about... Can I ask you about Hortator? Hlalu... No. Yeah, Hlalu Hortator. Okay. Oh, Hortator is a war leader for a great house. Why? Um, you know what? Let's tell my story and ask it to be confirmed. Um... That's a touching story, but if you don't have 2,000 drakes, you won't get my vote. Oh my. You know what? I mean, I had lots of money before. <sighs> Stall for time. Let's see what he says when I do that. Go ahead, take your time. I'm ready when you are ready. Um, because I have... Let's go see how many drakes. I have 9,000 drakes. That would cut it down to 7,000. I'm going to need bribes later. And I've already been told that he won't, or that everybody else won't care if, um, if he dies. But so the question is, do I go the violence route or the bribery route? Mm. So can you steal enough gold here? I can steal quite a bit of gold here. But whether or not I can get enough to fully make up for the 2,000 is seems unlikely. Uh, but can I over time? Yeah, probably. So sure. You know what? Uh, what can I do for you? I'm going to ask about... You know what? I'm going to ask about the other counselors as well while I'm at it. You should consult the recent edition of the Yellow Book, House of Great House Lalu. It lists the Lalu counselors and their residences. Okay, what about House Lalu? 
Auslalu hopes to live in peace and harmony with the other races and share in the growth and prosperity of the Empire. Okay. Um, what do you say about Ortator's duty? A Ortator is a champion who leads by inspiration. He challenges opposing heroes. Okay, yep. That is the same thing the other guy said. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Flalu Ortator. All right. Give Ingling 2,000 drakes. A pleasure doing business with you, Drolin, and I'm a man of my word. You got my vote for the office of Ortator of House Lalu. Once you get everyone's vote, talk to Crassius Curio. All right, what business then? If you want to talk business, speak with Crassius Curio or Edrano Arathi. Who's Edrano Arathi? Her home is in the Lalu Canton Wasteworks. Okay, I don't think she was among, was she? The, uh, the counselors might just be related to the house. Uh, so let's go check real quick. Because if I look at the yellow book, um, Valenda Omani, Dram Barrow, Crassius Curio, Ingling Half-Troll, Novena Alls. So no is the answer. Okay. So that was one of them. It was... Good that I found that spot. Uh, I guess I can. St. Olm's Upper North one. Might as well. What so let's ask Gellis Seleth. Do you know where Dram Barrow is? No, you've just seen him on top. And the trouble is, the top might well be that outer portion. But I might as well um, be thorough in my looking. Oh, hey. It's another chest, which means I need another lockpick. Nice. Yay, 50 gold. That goes a little bit towards uh, repaying myself for having to hand out bribes. 3,000 already in bribes. That's just... I don't know. I mean, we'll see what the other ones do. Hopefully they don't require the same uh, quantity of... the same level of bribes that these folks have. Well... Nope. I'll check all of the other buildings just to be thorough. And then... Apparently I am not being sneaky at the moment. Why am I not being sneaky at the moment? I'm confused. Hmm. Stand up. Quick save it. Just so that if this two gold stealing does get reported. Doesn't appear to have... Yeah, pretty much do my best to remove what cash I can from House Walu to make up for the expense of becoming Ortator, I guess. See how that goes. All right. Temple of St. Olm's. I was in there, so I know he's not in there. St. Olm's Upper South one. I was not in here. What if I ask you about Drampero? Same thing. Okay. What do you want? Oh, hey. A Brief History of the Empire, Volume 4. That sounds generic enough that I've probably... You should... You should look away. I cannot see the gold from this far or reach. And now if I'm close enough to reach the gold, I'm detected. Now I am not detected. Nothing personally, you just happen... To be in a house that I have some money issues with. Alright, cool. So that was South 1. That was the temple. This is going to be South 2. Nope, this is a haunted manor. I was in here once, I think. Pretty sure I was here earlier. And I don't... Oh yeah, that's not going to be helpful. Now, if it's unlocked, that does suggest that I have been here before, and I can just... Oh, okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Now, the hope is... Guarding the bulls, okay. I'm fine, thank you. What, do, what can I do for you? Do you know where Dram Barrow is? Hey, he says, Dram is my boss. You want to talk business? Talk to him. 
Okay, well, I mean, that's progress anyway. Um, wooden door. Are you one of you, Drambaro? You are Omesu Claris. You are a Drambaro. Awesome. All right, I talk, I take precautions to ensure that I am not found easily. I see I will have to take more precautions. What can I do for you? Well, sir, I would like to ask you about the Hlalu Orchator. An Orchator is the leader of a great house in times of war. Yes, I know that. Um, so I'm going to tell you a story. You have found me, and that means you are resourceful. Yes, I will vote for you as Orchator, but my vote alone means nothing. Ingling is a fool. You may bribe him or kill him. Crassius Curio is a man of passion and can be manipulated. Apparently I shouldn't have given him money. But Valenda and Nevena are Orvis Drenn's creatures, and they will do nothing without his approval. Okay, uh, can I ask you about Nevena and Valenda? No, that's the Nereverine. So no, I cannot, it appears. No, oh. I can ask you about Valenda Mano um, Omani, so might as well. Counselor Valenda Omani lives outside Vivek on Elmas Island. Take the bridge to the mainland from Telvani Compound, then turn south and cross the bridge to Elmas Island. The path from the south of the bridge leads to Omani Manor. Why was she not highlighted? I don't understand that. Hmm, and why is Nevena not an option. You know what, just out of curiosity, I'll ask you about the Nereverine. The Nereverine is a heretic, according to the temple, and so are all those who support the Nereverine. But House Hualu policy is to avoid extremist, relig extremist religious views. We follow the imperial practice of religious toleration for various cults and beliefs, so long as they do not challenge law or public order. Okay, then. Um, I, with the direction you two are facing, I don't think I would be able to steal much in here and i don't really know how much is left to steal um after i was in here previously oh there's another person here okay well with that so that gives me three votes now i have to go find the other two one of whom is just outside vivek so i'm going to i'm glad i didn't try and come out here all right so i need to cross the bridge from telvani that is, this is not. That's the Hall of Wisdom. Vivek Puzzle Canal. Um, so is Telvani over here then? Yes. Okay, so to get Telvani, I've got to cross this bridge, come around and cross that bridge, and then I would head down. Yes, so to cross that bridge, I have to go this way. Um, I think I will cut here and come back in when I find uh, the individual or at least that plantation. Ow! Okay, so that figures. I was uh, just about to mention that for some reason there was a guard up there running and that guard wasn't doing anything. Apparently it was because there was a Kaguri on the way. So, that was an interesting starting point. Omani Manor. That sounds right, as far as being the place that I'm trying to go. Um, I don't think anybody keeps gold in sacks. I'm pretty sure I haven't found gold in sacks. So, that's fine. Now I'm looking for somebody whose name starts with a V. And they're probably not going to be in here, because they are more... They are not slaves, so even if somebody does keep their slaves in the storage rooms, then... <laughs> okay. Uh, Cindy and Isles region, I don't think I need to exit. Who are you? You are Raynor Dralis. You are not who I am looking for. Um, That goes up further, so I will come around this way first. You are Treadin Venom. That's an interesting name. Uh, ta -ta. And there is a chest with no, no, nothing in it either, so I guess that's why there's no lock on it. Basket with a spoon, basket with a thing, and a closet with some jewelry, but I don't like trying to gain money that requires I find a, um, a fence, because the... 
vendors in the game have limited gold. What right. is this about? You are Melvona Marvain and you are Valenda Omani. Awesome. What are you doing here? Well, specifically, I am asking about Lalu Ortator. Yes, Roland, I've just heard of Orvish Dren's unfortunate death. As for your request to be named Ortator of House Lalu, I believe there will be no further delays. You have my vote, and I'm sure you'll be able to persuade the other counselors as well. Once all the counselors agree, speak with Crassius Curio again. He will give you the belt of the Ortator. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, do you know where the gal whose name starts with N? No, you don't either. So what's soul sickness? Soul sickness? I don't know. Let's find out what she says about soul sickness. Well, the temple has always said that madness is a soul sickness and a sign of sin, but in the Empire, they say it's just another kind of disease. Alright, hmm. I don't know why soul sickness is a topic, but whatever. What is Vidir Didant Min? Why is this a topic? Um, Vasir Didant... Oh, Vasir. Oops. Didant? It used to be a famous ebony mine, but its location has been lost. It's on a record that I will pay anyone 2,000 drakes for information about Vasir Didant. Okay, well, I'll get my 2,000 back, assuming this works. I don't know if I know the location or not. Tell the location of Vasir Didant. So you've been there, and there is still ebony there. I will have someone investigate right away to confirm your story, but I trust you. Take these 2,000 drakes with my gratitude. Sweet. Right. Nice. Um, but I don't know. It's just so weird that I know she was north of um, Surin, but Go ahead. you know what? I don't see any gold. At, well, there is a... Nah. I'll leave it be. She just give, did just give you 2,000 drakes. Well, yeah, but I also, she paid me 2,000 drakes for doing her a favor that I didn't know she needed. Um, all right, so I have to figure out where Surin is. You, I just, I don't remember where Surin is. I feel like it's near Belmora for some reason. Um, Dren Plantation. Pelagiad is there. Like, when you go to Pelagiad, is Surin one of the other options? I don't don't remember. Um, I think it is. Yeah, so sir, I mean, plod alright. So maybe I go back to... Well, for right now, let's see here. I'm gonna... Actually, let me check my journal real quick. Um, options. Her name started with N. Oh gosh. Am I going to even recognize... Nevena Oles. There we go. Uh, she lives in Oles Manor, near Surin. Just take the road north out of Surin. Cross the bridge heading west. And look for a manor south of the road. Okay. Um, Surin. Surin is a busy trading village, village on Lake Masobi. Gateway to the lakes, farms, and plantations of the Escadian Isles. Which is where I am. Pilgrims visiting the temple pilgrimage sites at Fields of Kumu and the Shrine of Malak Ball seek lodgings in Surin. Okay, so Surin's going to be close to the Fields of Kumu, and I did see that on the map. Um, okay. The ri so, Escadian Isles are south and west of Surin, so I need to go north and east, which is where the Fields of Kumu are, so that makes sense, too. Alright, so I th that gives me kind of a direction to start looking. I'll cut out and come back in when, hopefully, I've found what I'm looking for. Okay, so I got up to the fields of Kumu here and started rereading things. So these are the Escadian Isles down here. This is certain. For whatever reason, I did not mouse over these three stacked. So it said go north. Well, that's Belar. But it said go north out of Surin and go west. And then look for a plantation to the south. So it's probably somewhere over here. And I just wasn't looking in the right place. So I'm going to go back this way because I came up here. So I'm going to loop back around and see if I can find the manor. Okay, so this is apparently Ulus Manor, although I was expecting... Oh, there's the actual manor. That's just the Slave Master's Shack. This is the Slave Shack, but the manor... I was expecting it to be more like that. So I was a bit surprised when Ulus Manor was those. 
because those have been for uh, individual farmers and stuff up to this point. But it's just because they're off to the side. So that makes a little more sense. All right. The door that leads into another storage room with no gold supplies. Fair enough. Just verify. Okay. Hey, open. Now you can close again. I guess I don't have to be sneaky. I am planning on trying to talk to uh, the lady of the house, assuming it is the lady of the house. And... But being sneaky is just a habit. Oh, there's somebody. The door. Oh, somebody else. Hold on, if I'm careful. I don't know if I like this. No gold, though. There is an exquisite shoes, but I'm not terribly concerned about... Um, again, don't want items that I have to then pawn. So, let's see here. Now, this one should also be easy. Nevena Ulis. Nice. Um, well, if you've come all this way, I suppose you can ask a few questions. Great. Uh, what can you tell me about the Hlalu Ortator? Oh, yes. You want to be Ortator. Sure. I think that's a very good idea. You'll be a very special Ortator. Is that okay? Do I need to say anything official? Here, how about, in the name of House Lalu, I hereby say you are a orator of this house, House Lalu. I hope that's right. Once all of the counselors agree, make sure to UC Cassius Curio. All right, what else do you want to say about House Lalu? If you wish to learn more of my house, go to Balmora. All right, why is nobody else in Balmora? That's the weird thing about this. Uh, ta -ta. Yeah, you don't have any money. You still don't have any money. Interesting. Why does nobody have any money? What? I was just thinking that she seems to be... not so much a counselor as someone in a seat. Yes. I, I did get the impression she's kind of like, is there some sort of formality I'm supposed to fulfill here? Do I care? All right, I... I think that's everybody. Uh, let me see if I have a quest. Hlalu Ortator. Yep. Does it say... Um, mm, Alright. So, I needed Crassius. Got Crassius. The Yingling I also got to agree. Dram was impressed. The other two... They aren't in my notes, but what they the both... next? Is that the next quest? Or the oh, next no, that is the next page. Okay, cool. Um, Belinda said sure, and then Nevena said sure. Hmm. She seemed very anxious to please me. I wonder why. That's interesting. Maybe that's a response to having killed a Dren. Or, not Dren. Um, is it Dren? Yeah, the Dren Plantation. Okay, so now I have to go back to... Ugh, I have to go all the way back to Vivek to get to... Um, Hlalu. And once at Hlalu, I will find my way to Crassius, I think his name was. Yes, Crassius Curio. And uh, come back in then and get named Hlalu Ortator, I believe. All right, so I have returned to Curio Manor, and now I need to find Crassius, and I don't remember where he was. I don't think he was here. No, that's another storage room. Okay, so yes, he was around this corner-ish, and then there isn't much else. So this door? Nope. Okay. This door. Nope. Well, door number three. There we go. Excuse me, Crassius. I am so glad to see you again, Drolin. Yeah, I bet you are. Thousand gold later. All right, uh, so now if I ask you about Hlalu Ortator, all the counselors agree. Splendid. I'm so happy for you. What an honor, but no more than you deserve, pumpkin. What? And now I have a little treat for you. It's a belt given to the Ortator of House Hlalu. Just snug it around the, that supple little waist. Hmm. I, 
I think you've found what his weakness is. Does he have a thing for Kaji? It's possible. Now, I know you have important things to do, but don't be a stranger. Don't neglect poor, lonely Uncle Crassius, your devoted admirer. Dude, I think I just met you like 20 minutes wow. ago or an hour ago, something like that. Okay. But the belt of the Ortator has been added to my inventory. Awesome. Um, and with that, I have become Ortator of House Hlalu uh, because Telvani was just across the way. I will probably start the next video trying to... Uh, go become Ortator of Hell's Talvani. For now, I will end this here. Thanks, all. Hello, all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.